are you? Hello, YouTube family. I want to talk to you today about a question that I received from a viewer. And she's written, she says, Hi, Lisa, I follow your work and have read that you believe we are all God incarnate. Can you explain? I would love to, dear one. What I mean is that, that I am of the belief that God is not out there somewhere. God is within us. And who is God then? To make it really simple, the way I like to look at it is God is the creator of all that is. And so whoever created all that is created me. And therefore, I am created in God's image. And what does that mean? That means I have the divine ability to create. Now, those of you who study my work in relation to recovery and the law of attraction might beginning to un be beginning to understand that we attract what we are on a vibrational level, on, a, uh, on an emotional level. When we are unaware, we are below a veil of consciousness, if you will, or we are operating in the unconscious realm. And from the unconscious realm, if we we begin attracting that which we experience as children. So it's not un unlikely, as a matter of fact, it's quite likely that adult children of alcoholics attract alcoholics into their adult experiences. They attract people who are addicted. They attract troublesome people and people who are very much vibrationally like their mother and father or one of their either their mother or their father. And what happens is the dynamic in the adult relationship mimics the dynamics of the child childhood experience. And so unaware below the veil of consciousness, working out of the depths of the unknown, the the the, the parts of us that we're not really connected to yet, we can we are operating and attracting to us that which we experience as child as children because it's all we know. Like attracts like. But as you awaken and you come into contact with people like myself or, or people who have, have journeyed before and, and are now operating in higher realms of consciousness, you begin to understand that you created that. Whatever you're experiencing now is truly your creation. You may have been creating by default and be, you may have been creating from a place of unawareness, but nonetheless you created the, ex the experiences that you're experiencing now. That doesn't mean you created them on purpose. And that doesn't mean that you, you uh, consciously attracted an alcoholic into your experience or, or a troubled and difficult relationship. That just means that if you were taught not to love yourself, dear one, as a child, because mother and father didn't show up for you the way they were supposed to, and mother and father were wounded themselves and really didn't understand their job in relation to what they were supposed to do for you and how incredible their opinion of you was to your growing impressionable mind. If you grew up not believing that you were worthy, you cannot from that standpoint attract people into your experience that love you and consider you worthy. You just can't do it. So when I say that you're attracting and you're creating, I don't mean that you're creating and attracting on purpose. I mean that in the aware, unaware state, you can only attract that which you are. In the aware state, in the, in the more conscious realms, when you begin to understand that you truly are God, God incarnate, you truly do have a Holy Spirit, you yourself are the Holy Spirit, higher self, you can begin shifting how you see self through the healing and the recovery process. And through the healing and the recovery process, you begin, you come out the other side of it and you begin to understand that, oh, I didn't love myself and that was a consequence of not feeling loved. But that doesn't mean I'm not worthy. I'm, oh, I was always worthy. Even if mom and dad never told me I was worthy, I was always worthy. Even if my husband told me I wasn't, I was always worthy. And that becomes a new jumping off place. That becomes a new point of attraction. And then you, your life begins to change and unfold. And the wonderful thing that I would like all of you to understand about pain is that pain gives us contrast. It's sort of like if you've never been hungry, then you really can't appreciate what it's like to not be hungry. And when you're in emotional pain and it's all you know, it sort of becomes all you know. And then when you begin to love self, the, the experience of loving, loving self is absolutely spiritual and transformational. And then when you truly love yourself, 
completely, it's nearly impossible not to love everybody else. You begin to be more accepting of other people as you begin to accept and forgive self. So I hope this has answered your question as to um, why or what I mean when I say that we are God incarnate. We are created in the image of like and likeness of God. And yes, dear ones, we create either by default or through conscious awareness. These days I choose to create through conscious awareness and um, it's made all the difference in my life. I hope that's inspired you. My name is Lisa A. Romano. I am an ACOA life coach and I specialize in adult child recovery. And I'm hoping that you'll check my stuff, stuff out at www.healingselfesteem.com and any number of my books that I have on the market today. Namaste, dear ones. Bye-bye.